the arch can carry enormous weight and is purely a compression structure. That is, it can withstand pressure. The more force that's applied, the more compressed the arch becomes. On the other hand, if you apply tension to it, it loses its strength rapidly. As the legs of the arch begin to spread, the arch can collapse. The secret of stability in arch design is to contain the forces, or the line of thrust as it's called, within the arch. As we move supports around, uh, the arch can adjust to these different movements and can adapt with new internal forces. And the key really, or the magic, is that they can, they can carry so many different possible loadings. And as the ground moves, the arch quite happily adjusts to it. It's in equilibrium, it stands. We can find a line of forces through one. As long as the line of force is contained inside the structure of the arch, or terminates at the arch supports, it can stand practically forever. But if the line of force moves outside the arch because of increased loads or changes in shape, it will fail. The Romans understood this. It's a tribute to the fact that the Roman engineers knew about how their structures could redistribute forces even after they become damaged.